religious are not doing it. Yes. So the ultimate failure, what Krishna has said, the whole failure of why the whole world is collapsing is not because of bad people, because bad people has always been in existence. Why it is now collapsing is because leaders who have taken seats of power and positions are not exhibiting that kind of quality so that the people below when they look up they have nobody to follow. No so they run away. They, that's why they run away. That is why Bhagawan in a direct uh, youth conference he said to the youth, those of you who want anything and if your leaders are not supporting you, come to me directly. I will show you. I will give you whatever you want to give. It's easier said than done. That's you true. go there, the Tevadal stop you. You take <laughs> a number, you get a bag for yeah. Colonel Bose, who's in charge of Shaitanya Jyoti, yes. told me for 20 years he was in queue yeah. until Baba saw him and said, what are you doing here? Yeah. Go and go I, inside. I, I think that message must be caught in the spirit form. That is to say that it is not actually a direction to come. But what Swami is saying that even to that extent, uh, that is how he was trying to motivate the leaders to show that quality. That means to move up, to buck up. Malaysia, we had very good examples of very powerful leadership because the reason why our the country is doing so well in, in everything, we have got now a very clear vision for 2010. Uh, in fact, it was uh, commented by the Ministry of Women's Affairs. My God, you're an NGO and you already thought about 2010. Our ministry has not been thinking like this, you know, because we are very clearly in spiritual, spirituality. What are you supposed to manifest by 2010? If education, we have got 5,000 children now. By 2010, we're supposed to get 50,000. We're very specific. We're very directed and very goal-oriented towards manifesting whatever the ideals of Bhagavan Baba very specifically. And so we create the necessary strategies and have review meetings so that we know where we are re reaching. Which means to say what devotion and respect we're giving to the material world. We are devoting the same attitude and showing the same kind of approach in the, in the spiritual world. Because in spiritual world, normally what we do, we go back to the easy clause. This one Baba will do, this one Bhagavan will give, this we serve, so up to Swami's grace. And we leave it like that. Now, this seems to be the clarion call of so-called senior devotees who have that nearness to living avatar. Yes. Oh, he has given me this, he has given me this ring, given me this chain. I've got all these things, you know. So I am now elevated. Immediately ego sets in. Yeah. Because Baba has called them for an interview or two or more, ego sets in. When they come back, they're different people. You can suddenly see their feathers up. Yeah. But the trouble is that once a peacock puts his feathers up, those fellow can see below, can see he's naked. <laughs> That's what happens. So when they do the mild dance, you know, right. other fellows at the bottom say, hey, you are naked. I, I think too much was given, much must be, will be expected. Like, but the thing but is, the, that's not the way it works. That's right. From my personal experience of those who have been given a lot. Yes. It is the same like in the Asuric, in the Puranic stories also, when they got the vows, you know, the boons. Uh, same, Ravana also had a boon. They managed to get from Lord Shiva. Finally, he kidnapped uh, Sita. The same Basmasura also. All these great people who did a lot of tapas, went close to God, managed to get the boons, managed to get us all the so-called uh, rewards. Well, Ravana mechanism. saw Sita and he was desirous of her. And Sita saw the golden deer, she was desirous yes, of the deer. Yes, yes, yes. So this is how it happened. happened yes. So but like that, it, the leaders, yeah. the leaders who come close to Bhagavan Baba and have got much intimacy and got a lot of uh, experience. There are sad experience at the end of it. Yeah. The ultimate aim of such an experience is to transmit that kind of a vibration to the younger generation who has not so... Been they so transmit to. their peacock feathers up and show their no, nakedness. No, 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 That's what I'm saying, that out of no, great respect. No, no, I tell you, I think you're right. Huh? Mm -hmm. But what's, in fact, contrary to what, uh, the, what we were taught, a uh, 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 contrary thing is happening in fact. Nowadays, the youth are seeing now, hey, what is flow? Okay, there are some who, who, who move away. Somebody. But there are others who say, hey, look, my God, what kind of behavior is this? No, I don't want to be like that. And that transformation thing. But I've seen that happening, you know. I've seen a num number of places huh, where the youth have said, look at this, what kind of behavior is this? You know? We should not behave like that. So, Pai Swami is really doing, you know, putting the, the worst face, you know. So, you're like, hey, I don't want to be like that, okay. I'm a, I want to be some other kind of leader. And I think, and I believe, and I, and I have this faith in me now, that the next generation, you know, you see, brother, how many people, you say, whoever is close to Baba, you said now, you know, they have so many interviews only. Some past karma they have done, you know, they may not done, we are not seeing them, they are they they close. They have got some deposit of karma in their bank account. They are using it up, you know. Now, we don't know when the bank account becomes zero. And you have seen so many examples of people in Prashanti, very, very close, you know, physically. Bank account becomes zero, they are out. But, Others who are building up the bank account and say, look, I need not be close to Swami physically, you know. For me, take myself for example. I love to be in the presence. But for me, my Swami, wherever I am, I must step in. That's my form. For me, that's very important. See? Now, I want to, uh, to interrupt you on that one. You tapped his energy by going to your prayer room and talking to him. Yeah. The public didn't have the chance to ask you the question. 
How do you talk to him and get the reply back? <laughs> okay, Baba says, <laughs> oh boy. Baba says, I will uh, communicate with my devotee directly. Okay? So everyone must find their own way of communicating. How do you do it? Okay, this is, okay, brother. When, I first, when the first phenomena started happening, one of the few fellows who knew was Israel. I, I, I couldn't also surprise us getting all these all things. Uh, then one day he told me, don't tell anyone what's happening. So only about two or three people in my life now know exactly what I do. He said, don't tell. I will tell you, let you know when to tell how you do it. So I've now I've shut that part then off. I don't talk about that. Normally, I, normally I, my life is a transparent book. No, 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 everybody knows. So make it transparent now. Yeah, but this one I was told not to. Not to. He just Can you say it in so many words that people can understand what you said yesterday? No, but actually... Okay, what, you go to the prayer room. You got an answer. Not you want to ask for it. Not only prayer room, brother. Uh, I mean, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are holding a meeting. You are chairing a meeting. Yeah. He calls you. You say, you better be serious. <laughs> I am chairing a meeting now. <laughs> and then you... you Plugged on. Yeah. How, what did you do? No, I think you. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> no, I just want to ask him, please. Yeah. No, but that one, I had to lock my door. I had, okay, I invoked him. Yeah. Now, the question is how I invoked him yeah. is, is a methodology that I've been told by him now not to reveal to the world. Why is that a secret? Don't ask okay. I was starting to tell He told you in person? No, through the same process. Through the same process. Through the same, same, okay. same, same okay. process. Same process that that that, that stopped the ty what the typhoon, you know, in in, uh, in uh, North Korea. Yes. The one that uh, when he went to Afghanistan, you know, what uh, you see, it, when this guy went to Afghanistan, yes. you know, for the border border control. Yes. Now I, I eighteen thousand. I'm sending three boys to the border zone, which right. is a dangerous zone, you know. And I asked Swami, Swami, should I should it's go? Like no man's land. No man's land. Yeah. Actually, they went to jump this, this border zone, Correct. where and as Hindus going to Pakistan, Afghan, they could have got killed, you know. Yeah. And I I said, Swami, I should go with them. You know, I, I'm definitely I will go with them. I'm sending to the most dangerous zone. You know? He said, no, you don't go. I said, why, Swami? Then he said, no, no danger, don't worry, I'll you don't go. And I was wondering why, you know, I kept, I mean, I kept actually arguing, all these guys, you know, they said, Jaydeya, why are you not coming, Jaydeya? I said, but well, Swami said, don't go, you know. Then I said, don't worry, I will do everything to protect you. A you know, lot of miracles happened, too long for me to tell here. No, we got time. Okay, I'll tell you what happened here, for example. Like, we, we wanted to get these guys some protection, okay. He is telling about the coal, it was very cold. I said, what coal are you talking about? 18,000 blankets are taking, you know. So no, no problem of coal for you, okay. The only thing, I will put a shield around you guys. That's it. So, okay, prayers is one thing. And, and the assurance in my meditation I got was the same thing they told about, you know, this, this uh, ABC, you know, the one, that, the drug addiction thing, you know, the one where I told them, you go ahead. 